Welcome to Business 210, Statistical Analysis Using Excel. Now, you've already received an introductory letter. And this is not Canvas. This is the website where we're going to do most of our work. And that link right there, Business 210, that's our class. So when I click this, your goal before the end of day number one is to study the syllabus and watch the introductory video, which I'm filming right now. But before we do that, why in the world are we taking a statistics class and learning Excel? Because out in your jobs, when you're given a column of data like this and you need to know the percentage responses, using Excel, it's quick and easy. Insert ribbon tab, pivot table, click OK. There's the survey results. I drag it down to rows, and instantly I get a unique list. I drag the same column down to values, and it knows to count. I drag it again, and right click, show values as percent of column total. Yeah, this pivot table feature knows to take each individual number and compare it to the column total. And just like that, we have our report, which in this statistics class is called a frequency distribution. And look at that. Bloxicola is number one. So the reason we use Excel in this statistical analysis class is so we can go from data like this to a report like this with just a few clicks. Now, back at our People website, your job is to study this syllabus, but we're going to look at just a few sections. The top is a table of contents later when you want to look at the schedule because the schedule is not in Canvas. It's here at our People website. In this table of contents, you just click to jump to that schedule. So for week one, you have to study the syllabus in the intro video. And then there's Intro to Excel. I'm going to call this Chapter 00 because you don't have to use the textbook. There's one Excel file that you have to download and use, and one really long two and a half hour video. You'll have to spend the entire week studying that first video. And then there's two quizzes over at the Canvas website, which we'll look at in just a second. Week two, there's the topics. And there's two chapters in the textbook. So it's not until week two that we actually start using the textbook. There's two Excel files. And even though we have a textbook, everything starts with the videos. You watch the videos. And once you're done, then you go read the pages and do the homework. Now, everything you do in these Excel files while watching the video and all of the homework that's done for practice. You do not hand it in for points. At the end of week two, there's quiz three and four. Then you continue on through the weeks. And notice in week three, test number one will be emailed out on Thursday, and it's due before 9 AM on Monday. That means you work by yourself at home completing the Excel statistics test. The Excel test will be exactly like what you see in the videos. And the great thing is, you can go back and watch the videos or look at the notes or look at the textbook while completing the quizzes or the tests. Now I'm going to go back to the very top. By the way, the keyboard is Control Home. Computer requirements for this class. You must have daily access to a computer with Windows-based PC, Excel, 2013, or later. Any version will work. I filmed everything in this class using Excel 2013, because all the statistical calculations and pivot tables haven't changed at all. So you can use any version 2013 or later. You can't use a Mac or a Chromebook for this class. In the business department at Highline College, we cannot teach you on a Chromebook or Mac because they are different than a Windows-based computer. And since employers demand employee skills on a Windows-based computer using Excel, that's what we're going to teach. Now, during COVID-19, access to computers, we can't use Building 30. Now, I've contacted all of you in advance. If you do have problems and need computers, you have to contact the Help Desk, which is what we did over the last couple of weeks when I emailed you. You have to request a Windows-based PC computer with a full keyboard and the program Excel installed on it. 
You also received an email about the textbook. It's a much older version. It should cost you 40 to 100 bucks instead of if I use the new one, which would be 200 to 300 dollars. Now, I'll let you read through the rest of the syllabus. I'm going to click the back button. I want to go look at how this class is set up, the Excel files and the videos. Here's chapter 00. At the top of each section, you'll download whatever files there are. You download this Excel file and open it. And then you click and watch the video. For this week, there's two videos. When I click the video, it'll take us to YouTube. Now, you guys know how to use YouTube. There's all sorts of great features. But below each video, there's the Show More option. When you click Show More, I've created a time hyperlink table of contents. That means all of the topics in the video. You can search for exactly the topic you want. There's a topic. Click on the time hyperlink, and you jump to that part of the video. Now, you don't want to use this when you're first watching it, because you have to study it all the way through. But later, if you're taking a test, or you're out in your job and you forget, you can use this Show More Time Hyperlink Table of Contents. So in Chapter 1, there's still some files and a data set for some of your homework. You watch the videos. You do everything here first. Then you switch over and do what's ever in the textbook. Now let's go look at our Canvas website. The home area, getting started, this just jumps you back to our Real People website. If you have questions, you can post them in the discussion area over here in Canvas. This means questions not about tests or quizzes, but about the homework or the videos. And be sure when you post your question to attach the Excel workbook. Now, there's homework problems, and I did all of the homework problems in Excel myself. Why did I do them? Because I didn't want to miss out on the fun, too. But all of the answers are here. The reason that I did this is because I'm expecting you to use all of the Excel methods that I teach you in this class. So I want you to be able to check all of your homework. Now, when you scroll down, there's week one. These jump you back over to our People website. It's just the quizzes that you want to take. These are multiple choice true false quizzes. You click and take them. Week two, week, and in week three, there's the first test upload link. Again, you'll have for the first couple of tests a couple of days to do them. The final test, you have 24 hours. Announcements, well, so far there's already four announcements. You want to read those. Each week I'll post at least one. There's discussion. And the grades, you can go here and look. Now notice only three of the assignments, those are the three tests. Those have due dates. The rest of the quizzes don't have a due date. Well, wait a second. I thought the dates were in the schedule. Yes, because if you're studying week one, you might as well take the quizzes right when everything's fresh in your mind. So you should take all these quizzes as close to the dates as are listed in the syllabus over in our People website. Click Syllabus, click the Schedule in our Table of Contents, and this is the guide for everything we do in this class. All right, this is going to be an awesome quarter of statistics in Excel, and we'll see you in the next video.